It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Here before game two of this three-game series with the Hartford Yard Goats, I'm with manager Matt LeCroy and Matt last night, the first start this year as a senator of Greg Ross. By Greg Ross, he just joined the team. Seven shutout innings. Yeah, he, he did really well. Uh, he tacked his own, mixed up his off speed. He kept him off balance, a pretty aggressive club, and uh, he did a really nice job. We jumped out on him early. It's a pretty uh, one of their best starters and put some extra pressure on him, and, and uh, Greg Ross ran with it, and our bullpen was pretty good. Glover was a little bit strong from having a lot of time off, but he ended up getting the job done. But uh, it was a big win against a really good team. So Ross was only in the mid seventies. Did he come out just because you needed to get the other guys going? Yeah, I mean we had uh, I had too much. Uh, a lot of my bullpen guys with Matt Bilal being here uh, had a lot of off days and had to get Lee in the game and Suero and you know Glover had a lot of days off. So uh, that was the main reason for that. But uh, he could have easily went out for a couple more innings. But uh, you know I hate to see people get sit down in that bullpen as long as they have and in Glover's situation I mean that's probably the reason why he wasn't as sharp last night because he had so much time off so you know I put the blame on on myself there and and uh, hopefully get him back out there not tonight but tomorrow. Kevin Keyes back in the lineup had a couple of hits Chris Bostick a home run a couple of hits uh, the offense last night really took it to uh, uh, Marquez early on. Yeah early they were, we were good squaring the ball up pretty good situational success and then uh he, he kind of settled in and, and uh, uh, showed what he's capable of doing to our lineup. But uh, I'm glad to have Keys back. I know uh, he had some struggles in AAA but wasn't playing much, and here's an opportunity for him to get going, playing here every day, and, and uh, hopefully he can help carry our club. So Reynaldo Lopez is on the mound tonight. Uh, he moved up a day because of the suspended game on Tuesday, only two innings. So that's two starts for him now in the last couple of weeks that were short-circuited. What do you expect out of Ronaldo tonight? Well, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we kept him on normal rest. He'll be okay. But anytime you get shortened like that, uh, an outing, you, you, you kind of get a little bit worried. But the only thing uh, in this case that's different, uh, he's on normal rest. So hopefully he'll be sharp and, and give us a chance to win. You guys, uh, we've talked about this before with the Nationals, but the Nationals are playing really well. And for the most part, they have been uh, injury-free, which makes a big difference to you guys and the rest of the minor leagues. Yeah, I think uh, you know it keeps our uh, team pretty much the same, uh, barring any injuries that happen in AAA. Uh, but uh, you know, so far, the big league team's doing well, not much movement. And hopefully these guys here will continue to do well. And our AAA team's playing well, too. So uh, hopefully we can all... Stay together, get better as a group, get better as an organization, and and move some guys up late in the season. For you, what is the uh, what's the biggest biggest pleasure that you have out of being a manager? Well, for me, it's uh, you know the the daily grind of these kids, what they go through on a daily basis, just to have a small impact to maybe help them uh, get to the next level, and maybe a chance to go to the big leagues. But for me, my my greatest pleasure, joy is is a telling telling a child he's going up to to the big leagues and. I know it's a dream of every player in that locker room and to be able to be the one to tell them they're going up a special moment. You still remember the first time you did that? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know, you spend your time in A ball and you see some of the guys that you managed go up, but then when you get to double A, uh, you know, uh, you get to tell a guy that he's actually going to the big leagues is a, is a great moment. All right, before we finish up, we're, uh, we're going to open this up to questions. Hopefully we'll get some over the next few days. You can reach me at HBG Sends Radio on Twitter or T. Byram at SenatorsBaseball.com if you have some questions for Matt. You're ready to answer some questions if we get some, right? No doubt about it. 